MailChimp has long been one of the most user-friendly email marketing systems out there. And in the last few months, they've offered a lot of new features that can make it even easier to get you started using MailChimp. One of the great new features that they've added is landing pages so that you can make some custom designed landing pages to get people to sign up for your list and you're not stuck using the same default one. You don't have to worry about how to set one up on your website. You don't even have to have a website. If you don't, this is a great place to get started. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a landing page on MailChimp for a webinar that I have coming up. <clears throat> so this is the page that we're actually going to be making. As you can see, I have a header image, I have some information about the webinar, and then an email address sign-up box. I want to show you what the finished product looks like, and then I'm going to show you the steps that I took to make it. First thing I'm going to cover, though, is how I made this heading graphic. And it is not part of MailChimp, it is part of Canva. And I'm just going to show you that real quick because if you're making landing pages in MailChimp, oftentimes you're going to want some graphics to go with it. And Canva can be a really easy way to get started making those graphics. So over in Canva, I went to my layouts. We'll start at the beginning here. Um, I went to find a template. And in the templates, I went to all the way down here to web banners, and then I did a Facebook cover. So then it's properly sized for me to actually use as a Facebook cover, but also it gives me a nice uh, good ratio of a banner to use for my webinar. So this is the one I chose. As you can see, there are several here that you can pick from. For the purposes of this video, let's go ahead and use this one. So we click on it, we're going to say edit this template. And you can use uh, free images that Canva has available to you for the fireworks here to replace the fireworks, or you can upload your own. So I have already uploaded one. I'm going to go to my uploads here and grab a picture that I want to use. And I did that wrong. We're going to drag it over here until it kind of hovers over the other picture and replaces it. Now I'm going to scoot it down some because I want more of the screen to show. And there we go. So this pink over here isn't really my color. With Canva for work, the premium version of Canva, you can set up your own brand colors, which I have done here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my blue that I like. And then I'm going to click here. and start shaping in what I want these things to say. Okay, so I've got my text in. Now, Depending on which layout you used, you might be able to do these differently. But for this particular one, I want to add another bit of text that has the date uh, for the webinar. Or maybe I won't. You know what? I won't for this. So I'm just going to leave it like this. If you wanted to add text with Canva, you can go over here to the text bit. You're going to grab one of them that you like. And it's going to put it on here. So now we can rearrange this. I actually put it on there twice. Oh, wrong part. So maybe I'm going to move this down here. Maybe I'm going to go up here and change the text color to a dark blue. Or even scroll down to a black. You can change the font and the size and all of that other stuff here. Um, but as I said, I don't actually want to have that. So I'm going to select the text. And just delete it. If I can select the right part. We'll just do this trash can up here. Delete, oh, oh, delete group. There we go. Alright, so now I have my cover image. I'm going to go ahead and download it. So 
So now that I have the image that I want to use, we're going to go back into MailChimp. And to start the landing page that we're going to make, we're going to go to Campaigns. And we're going to go to Create a Campaign. And we're going to go to create a landing page. We're going to name the landing page. And you're going to select which list you want it to get connected to. <clears throat> and then it will take you to the editor. I'm going to remove, replace this logo bit up here. So I'm going to click replace there and I'm going to upload my graphic that I just made. So now we have that up here. We can look at the settings and we can make it go edge to edge. Um, you can change the alignment if it wasn't a full width picture or any of that kind of stuff. We're going to save that. We're going to close that. And then we're going to go here. So this is the title or the heading for it. And let's say I want to change the font here to something different. And then I can click down here and add some information about the webinar. Oops. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to pick what we want the button to say. You can choose the font. So I could go back and pick, I can only pick certain fonts here. You want to make sure it's easy to read. You can change the text color uh, for here, for the field, and the colors for the button. So I like that and then I'll do a green for the hover state. So when it's hovered it's green and do you want it to we'll check on the alignment? Okay. The last thing is for this particular list that I have it connected to the double opt-in is turned on. And it will require new uh, subscribers to check their email to confirm their subscription. So what it's going to do is when they get that, it's after they submit it, they're going to get this message. They'll almost finish to confirm your email. So it tells them to go check their email. So you can see what that looks like. <clears throat> but if we're all set, we're going to go ahead and hit save and close. And let's see, what other design options do we have? So page will be for this whole page. We can change the background color, which right now is a light gray. You can also do a whole background image. I don't know that I have an image big enough to actually use, but we'll use this sushi one as a demonstration. So we have a nice big background image there. Um, and you see lots of styling settings there. We can go look at the header. And I want to see where the header image would be. So we're going to grab this other one. So that's at the top of the background. I don't want that. We're going to, whoopsie. We're going to get rid of that. <clears throat> and the body is going to be this center part here. So I don't want to use a background on that. And so we're just looking at all of the settings that are available here. Okay. So now this is all set and ready to go. We're going to go ahead and click save and continue. And it's just going to give us the option to verify some stuff as well as to add a specific page title. <clears throat> that will appear up here in the browser bar. So like this is landing pages MailChimp, that's the page title. So whatever you want it to say, um, you know, we can make it say join me for this webinar. 
And as you see here, it's going to make that as part of the URL. So you can edit this, but you're only able to edit the text part. This number that's generated randomly in here, we can't edit. So we're going to go ahead and click Save. Verify the list and the content that you want it to go to, and everything is good. So we're going to go ahead and click Publish. And we're going to confirm one more time. And our page has been published. So if we click on this link here, we'll be able to see this is the landing page that we just built with our background image and our header image that we made in Canva and all of this other lovely information. So if you don't already have a website or maybe you don't have an easy way to make a landing page within your website and you're using MailChimp for your email marketing, using the MailChimp landing pages can be a great way to make uh, landing pages for your webinars or for a challenge or a course or whatever you're doing that you want to promote to get people to sign up and give it a specific link. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you'll feel free to subscribe uh, to catch new videos that are coming out. And leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.